Right. All right. Uh, meanwhile, there are a lot of voters out in Loudoun County, Virginia, and if they were given the chance, they would vote most of the people in the uh, school district, school board uh, leaders, out of office if they had their way. Last night, they had another one of the meetings, and it was chaotic. A couple of people wound up getting arrested, and a couple of people had to be tended to because for medical reasons as well. A lot of the people were objecting to policy 840, which is a transgender policy uh, over which bathroom they, people would use or preferred names and stuff like that. Um, there was so much going on. There were 300 people in attendance. 259 of them asked if I can get up and speak. And they, after a couple of dozen, they said, okay, we're done. And they left. Well, yesterday we reported on the Democrats in that area. They put out a tweet and it said, jump on our bus. We have three different bus stops. You yeah. can pay a little, a little fee, and we will pick you up to take you to this meeting. So not everyone from there is from Loudoun County. There might have been some Fairfax County people, which is the county next door. But there, everyone there is either pro-CRT uh, or against CRT. They, they did have a chance to talk. One mom I heard, she said she's going to pull her child out of school now. Yeah, here's how it sounded. The Western culture and values that brought forth Christianity in the founding documents are being called evil and racist. I'm reminded of the tyranny of communist China, where your money is legally stolen and then used in government schools, not public schools, these are not public schools, these are government schools, like here, to indoctrinate children against their parents. My child is not oppressed, and don't assume that. As long as you Marxists push your unconstitutional agenda on my child, she will not be returning back to Loudoun County Schools. Unbelievable. That's the um, lady I was talking about. Yeah. As the parents uh, were cut off from speaking at the meeting, a, a bunch of them remained in the room, and they decided that they would read their prepared remarks to each other. Uh, but at one point, deputies uh, told people, you got to leave or you're going to be arrested for trespassing if they refuse to follow their orders to vacate. That was the only way they could get people out of the meeting because the meeting room after the meeting had adjourned because people are so fired up over both sides on these issues. So I don't know nothing. I don't know as to, uh, if anything has changed yet, and uh, that's the frustration. Uh, Joe Mobley, Paul Chan, Rachel Pisani, uh, parents had joined us. Uh, parents from last night got up early this morning and joined us to tell us their perspective on where they go from here. We are trying to recall the school board. Uh, six members out of eight or nine members are we're trying to recall because if we don't, uh, this, these radical policies will not change. Last night proved that this school board, and in particular Brenda Sheridan, have a real problem with the First Amendment, all the way from religious expression, freedom of conscience, to freedom of speech. We do not want to co-parent with our government. We want to be able to instill beliefs and instill our faith in our children without hesitation. So they can mute our mics, they can arrest us, they can kick us off of public property. We're not going to stop. She even went on to say that the teachers were told if they don't adopt the critical race theory teachings and teach that to the kids next fall, should, they were told they'll be fired. They could be fired, yeah. right? Yeah, and it, they said oh, it all would not have happened had we not had a pandemic and all these parents were looking over the shoulders of their kids or overhearing the Zoom calls and saying, what the heck is going on here? Right. And that's what I, I find uh, laughable, and people should push back on this when they say this is a Republican, uh, uh, these are, this is a Republican culture war that they're pushing in order to be successful in 2022. These people have not been contacted by any politician. They listen to their kids. No one even talked about party. This is about country and education and indoctrination. Scary that teachers were teaching things that we didn't agree with as parents, and we didn't know about it until the pandemic. And when you see that video, it looks like a, is it the school board facility, or is it, it looks like a church, it looks like pews. Mm -hmm. It's full, packed, because right. parents care so much about their kids. Kids don't have a voice, and these parents say they're the union for their children. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.